We just got the official trailer for Glitched Out Chapter 1, and it shows off brand new entities that we haven't seen yet. This will be the last full trailer before the game's release, meaning once the release date is ready, there will be a smaller trailer with no new footage announcing the date. So let's go over what this game is, and take a look at this new trailer to see if we can't uncover some of the sinister secrets inside this alien research facility. Now, what is this game? Glitched Out tells the story of IT engineer Lex, who wakes up in a government research facility to learn a malware has run rampant. The facility is home to many alien entities who have escaped containment and now stalk our hapless hero through the complex. Lex's only hope is to team up with an AI companion known as Chip and hack her way to freedom. Along the way, Lex and Chip encounter a host of entities, both friendly and hostile, as they seek to uncover the mysterious origin of the security outbreak. This feels like something new and refreshing for the indie horror scene. The Federal Bureau of Containment was set up to house the many terrifying horrors of the cosmos. Now these many monstrous entities have escaped confinement and rampage around the facility unchecked. Lex must use her wits and ever-growing arsenal of tech upgrades to evade and combat these horrifying creatures. Glitched Out will be an episodic horror game. The story unfolds chapter by chapter. Lore is revealed through cutscenes, environmental storytelling, audio recordings, and secret notes. So there will probably be tons of lore to discover. Now let's take a look at this trailer and break down some of the most important details. The trailer opens with a shot of the Federal Bureau of Containment sign. A man's voice welcomes new recruits to the central headquarters for the monitoring and containment of entity specimens here on New Earth, meaning this game will take place at a government research facility, being the FBC on New Earth, which of course makes me wonder what happened to Old Earth. Maybe the alien monsters in this facility ended up taking it over. Over, but I'm sure we will learn about this once we play. Following this opening scene, we are brought down a long hallway. On the door is a symbol. Now, we see this symbol many times throughout the trailer. I could be wrong, but it looks to be the logo for this Federal Bureau of Containment. This symbol or logo depicts a large eye on top of a body. This is probably to represent how the FBC is an overseer of all of the alien creatures, hence the eye over the body. This theme of an eye is something I'll talk about later in the video. Continuing on, we see this logo again, spinning in the center of what looks to be the atrium inside the facility, considering it says atrium under the logo statue. You'll also notice the poster on the wall. It has the text zookeeper with humans petting an animal. This further pushes the idea that the FBC sees themselves as zookeepers to these creatures. It's their job to basically keep these aliens in containment like a zookeeper. The voice here says, let's work together to make new earth the utopia I know it can one day become. So it seems like the FBC is working towards making this new earth a place where everything is perfect. Maybe a place where both aliens and humans can live in harmony. However, in most stories when somebody is trying to create a perfect world or society, it never ends well. Now, while the voice was talking, we see another poster on the wall, but this is for pest control, a recruiting advertisement for the FBC. But I want to point something out here. As we know, we play as Lex who wakes up in the facility. So I I wonder if the girl on this poster is Lex herself. She could be the face of the FBC. Although Lex is an IT engineer, so it might not be her, but who knows. Following this, we pick up a device called the Portable Glitch Fixer. This tool will help us hack our way to freedom. We will carry it around throughout the game, as it will be useful in many different ways. Inside this device is Chip, our friendly AI companion. In the next shot, Chip expresses to us that he doesn't know much, but it seems a security breach occurred. A high-level malware has spread system-wide. Chip then says, as one of the key software security engineers, let's just agree you could have done a better job and move on. So this tells us that the security breach that happened at this facility was partially our fault. But this also teases the personality of Chip. He seems pretty straightforward, which I like. I'm sure throughout the game, Chip will share their opinion and give some light humor. The trailer then cuts to a monster taking a bite out of our arm. This is a creature we have not seen before and it looks pretty cool. It reminds me of the piranha plants from Mario. With that being said, these are not plants. They are their own living alien species, but we will come back to them later in the video. The last thing I want to point out in the shot is what's in the top left corner. Whatever it is, it's blurred out. My first few guesses are that it's 
our objective, health, or maybe even a currency. Which brings us to the next shot in the trailer. It shows us Celeste Emporium, a shop inside this location. We will likely use this to purchase items that will help us progress through the story. The alien here is Celeste, an enthusiastic shopkeeper with an obsession for eyes, which is fitting considering her giant eye. This ties back to the theme of eyes I was talking about before, how the company's logo has a giant eye, and this alien also has a giant eye. If she works for the FBC, it makes me wonder if all of the employees will look like this. Now, the items here look to be a speaker or light, a tape recorder, a clearance key, and three eyeballs. If the first item is a light, it could be an attachment for the portable glitch fixer. Like I mentioned earlier, there will be audio recordings, so I'm assuming this is what the tape player is for. Considering the clearance key has the FBC logo, it's probably used to gain access to the high level security parts of the location. And I'm not sure what the eyeballs are for. Maybe they give us abilities or something along those lines. Since Celeste has an obsession with them, they must be useful in some way. It's also important to point out the item on the shelf behind everything. This is a radio. I know this because, well, it looks like one. And if you save the GIF from the Steam store page, the file is named Radio Lore, so I'm sure we can expect lore from this item. The actual item is labeled with Melody Inc, which is probably just an in-game brand. Like I said, the sound items will be how we learn parts of the game's lore. The next part of the trailer shows a preview of the game's hacking to fix a corrupted power unit. I'm not sure how the hack works, but we probably need to click on the correct picture. This won't be the only hacking minigame either. Following this, we see writing on the wall that says liberation will rise. Liberation is defined as the act or process of freeing someone or something from another's control. So the aliens have escaped confinement, if it wasn't already obvious. But now, they might be seeking revenge. In one of the final shots in the trailer, we get a few different looks at the red monster the game has been teasing. This alien is called a Seeker. At least, that's what it's called from the GIF on the Steam store page. I love this creature's look. It's simple, yet terrifying. Now, this is not the main monster in the game. Glitched Out does not have a main monster. Rather, the game will have many that we encounter. Each chapter will introduce a handful of new ones. With that being said, there are three entities in chapter one that will share similar screen time. And as we can see, we will likely be spending a lot of time running away from them. Continuing with monsters, in the next shot, we see the same creature from earlier. The entity pokes its head out from a hole in the wall. Maybe this creature travels through the walls and will periodically pop out throughout the game. But what's interesting here is our handheld device has a flashlight built into it, and we end up flashing this alien to stun it and run away. With that being said, I don't think we will be attacking anything throughout this game. It's going to be more of a stun and run, and I'm okay with that. If done correctly, it can make for a tense and thrilling gaming experience. So how do you guys feel about Glitched Out? Are you excited for it? This new trailer definitely has me looking forward to it. The atmosphere of the game looks amazing too, so I can't wait to play it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and if you like horror game content like this, please consider subscribing. Also, if you want to support the channel more, you can become a member. Don't forget to follow my Twitter at TerrifiedT. Thanks for watching.